guys, welcome back to my channel. And I wanted to show you guys the newest project that we have at Wired Customs. Um, this is gonna be a full build video, a full restoration video. And just want you guys to see it, check it out before we start taking it apart. Uh, in the next video, that's what we'll be doing. This is a 1953 F100. It's gonna be a uh, complete restoration ground up. Uh, we have a lot of good parts for it already here. We have a 383 full roller motor. So the hydraulic roller cam, roller rockers. We have a Trimic five speed for it, a Ford nine inch uh, from QuickTime. Uh, we're gonna have ladder bar suspension in the back. Uh, we have a complete Mustang two front suspension for this. So what I want to do first is get it to just bare frame and really build up the, uh, the suspension really, really well. Um, this is a somewhat rusty truck but it's like not that bad because I live on the East Coast. Vehicles are generally way worse than what this truck's in. So uh, I'm happy to get something that's moderate. It's just kind of like a normal restoration and needs a little bit here, a little bit there type situation. We're not going to be slamming it to the ground, usually what I like to do, but because the owner uh, kind of lives in a very hilly area, a lot of ups and downs and big driveways, stuff like that. So it's going to sit just as a little bit lower than what it is right now, but not too much lower. We're going to go maybe like a 60s, 70s style hot rod truck where the trucks weren't slammed street trucks yet. They're kind of like a, just like a raked to style street truck, bigs and littles type situation. So I think this is going to be a really cool build. Uh, I love the dashes in these for me. The big parts uh, uh, of a vehicle is a beautiful dash because that's what the driver's going to be looking at all the time. I always love to have the dash looking good. So I love the dash in this year Ford. <clears throat> uh, we're not chopping it or anything like that, even though I'd love to, or put a big back window. But uh, this is going to be, I think it's going to be a cool full build. Uh, it's going to be a good driver, 383 with a Trimic 5-speed. That, that's going to, it's going to put good power to the ground. Uh, it's going to put good power to the back wheels. So it should be a, a peppy little uh, street truck, 60s, 70s style. But as you can see, we have a lot that we need to do to it. Um, fix a lot of rust at the bottom of the door. This front fender is, looks like someone beat it with a, a bag of pennies or something. Then uh, rust back here on the rear fenders, but nothing too crazy. We're gonna go with a full custom interior, uh, a nice like country, like dark leather and uh, Right now, the idea is to put like a, a candy green over it. I'm really big on metallics and candies. So I think we might go with a, a, like a galactic silver base, then a couple coats of a dark green candy, really make this truck pop with the chrome grill. Uh, when these grills are solid chrome on the front with the candy, I think it's a nice combination. I really like that. So I'm excited to get it in here and I'm excited to start tearing it apart. That's what the next episode's gonna be. Taking it apart to bare frame and putting a, a Mustang II suspension on it and the ladder bars in the back to make it a really, really good street truck, tall street truck. Now I'm gonna be focused on more build videos uh, this year than uh, how-to videos, something that I'm really big on. I'm actually, I've actually been pumping out a lot of content, but it hasn't been for the Wired Customs channel. It's actually been for Rod and Style. We got a badass uh, 1928 Model A Roadster pickup that we're building and a big collaboration with a bunch of really cool hot rodders. Make sure you go to Rod and Style YouTube channel to watch it and stay up to date on that truck. It's an original hot rod from 1957. So go over there and check that out. Then also we'll be keeping up with the 34 on this channel. So make sure you like and subscribe guys. Get some motivation, go out in the garage and get your shift together.